New today at four, a two-time Olympian from Wisconsin decided to get a makeover today. Yeah, curling champion Matt Hamilton from McFarland honoring Brain Cancer Awareness Month in a unique way. CBS 58's Emily Fannin caught up with him today and shares how he's raising funds to help others in need. It's three and a half years. I am kind of nervous. From the curling arena to the hair cuttery in Dane County, two-time Olympian Matt Hamilton is taking some time off the ice to give back. <laughs> During the 2018 and 2021 Winter Olympics, Hamilton's hair was more than just a fashion statement. Those long locks were also raising funds for charity. He teamed up with Stash Strong, a nonprofit that raises money for brain cancer research. And now his signature look will be donated to kids suffering from hair loss. Hopefully it makes someone's life a little bit easier. <laughs> After growing his hair for more than three and a half years and cutting 12 inches of hair, the final product is... <laughs> it's just hair. It'll grow back, and it's an opportunity to maybe bring a little self-esteem to some kid who has some, you know, uh, may maybe it's chemo or maybe it's alopecia. Hamilton has raised over $10,000 for Stash Strong. President and CEO founder Colin Gurner launched the organization in 2018 after his brother was diagnosed with brain cancer. It was really just a, a family rallying call. My brother went to brain surgery, um, shaved down to a mustache. My dad and I followed suit, kind of the only thing you can do at that point when you're you know, older brothers going through this, and I kind of coined his fight as being staff strong. Gurner's brother, JG, passed in 2019, but his legacy continues to touch many lives. Two months, three months later, I find out my uncle has, like, stage three or four. And then actually during the Olympics on, uh, on Valentine's Day, we got the news that uh, our uncle passed away while we were out there. Brain cancer and cancer in general is, sucks, so... Any way I can uh, kind of contribute would be as good by me. In Sun Prairie, I'm Emily Fannin.